Hello, and welcome to our science web series, brought to you by sciencehook.com. Today, we will understand how our body maintains a constant temperature, in hotter and colder weathers. The human body has the remarkable capacity for regulating its core temperature, somewhere between 98 degree Fahrenheit, and 100 degree Fahrenheit, when the ambient temperature is between approximately 68 degree Fahrenheit, and 130 degree Fahrenheit, according to American physiologist, Arthur Guyton. The hypothalamus is the processing center in the brain, that controls body temperature. It does this by triggering changes to effectors, such as sweat glands, and muscles controlling body hair. The external heat transfer mechanisms are radiation, conduction, convection, and evaporation of perspiration. However, the process is far more than the passive operation of these heat transfer mechanisms. The body takes a very active role in temperature regulation. Even when inactive, an adult male must lose heat, at a rate of about 90 watts, as a result of his basal metabolism. If we are too hot, or too cold, the processing center sends nerve impulses to the skin, which has two ways to either increase, or decrease heat loss from the body surface. First, hairs on the skin trap more warmth if they are standing up, and less if they are lying flat. Tiny muscles in the skin can quickly pull the hairs upright, to reduce heat loss, or lay them down flat to increase heat loss. Second, if the body is too hot, glands in the skin secrete sweat onto the surface, to increase heat loss by evaporation. This cools the body. Sweat secretion slows, when the body temperature returns to normal. When we are too hot, blood vessels supplying blood to the skin can swell, or dilate. This allows more warm blood to flow near the surface of the skin, where the heat can be lost to the air. This is why some people's skin looks redder, when they feel too hot. When we are too cold, the blood vessels supplying warm blood to the skin become narrow, or constrict. This reduces the flow of warm blood near the surface of the skin, and reduces heat loss. This is why some people's skin looks pallor, when they feel too cold. Muscles attached to our skeleton can also receive signals from the hypothalamus, when we feel too cold. They respond by shivering. The rapid contraction of muscles during shivering results in heat being produced, during respiration. This heat then warms up surrounding tissues. So, that's all about concept behind how our body maintains a constant temperature. Please like, and subscribe our channel, and don't forget to share this video.